No Future Magazine presents Captain Zack Attack and the Zodiac Pirates. Swashbuckling tales from the underworld. These stories are written and created by Andrea Calabrese, an American graphic novelist. The Hollywood, Florida traffic circles from the sky make Hollywood Boulevard look like an alien landing strip or some ancient Mayan pyramid complex running from the beach then inland to a secret garden of Eden. Over the intercoastal, a yellow van recklessly speeding and swerving as the twilight morning is just about to emerge. The headlights, like luminous pillars, frame the chrome grill donning the words Mystery Machine in all capital letters, a Scooby-Doo reference. The 1983 Ford Econoline Custom Van is a punk rock band's traveling time-tested machine. It's so well put together, it floats in water. And this morning, it's about to be put to the test. Returning home from an evening of chaos and debauchery, Chip's fists strangle the steering wheel, jerking the van side to side as Pete Shotguns with a co-captain indifference. Andy whimpers. I'm gonna puke, man. Chip condescends. You all right, buddy? Getting Andy to puke is one of Chip's favorite pastimes. Andy pukes all over Tracy's legs and the backs of the driver and passenger seats. Chip, Pete, and Tracy laugh as they were in on it all along. Pete looks back over his shoulder and questions Tracy. How long before the mushrooms kick in, man? Tracy scratches his head and looks at Pete like a dog that just saw a card trick and says, The sky's gone out. The sky? Then he presses his face against the window to reveal Doug burning Steve's nipple with a Bic lighter. I think Steve is dead, Doug exclaims. What the fuck? Chip blurts out. What was Steve doing back there at the Bat Club? Doug snarkily replies, Maybe it's that crappy heroin we were doing with Bob. Everyone in the van is being thrown around by Chip's one-eyed, reckless, serpentining race car antics. While Chip pontificates, You know, if we didn't spend our gig money on coke, smack, ecstasy, molly, and pot, we could purchase a healthy and respectable vice like beer, which now I'm out of. He crushes the can and throws it at Doug. This was part one of Captain Zack Attack and the Zodiac Pirates. Stay tuned next week for part two.